Welcome to Slick's Video Guide to the News Groups. This is a companion video series to our extensive web guide to the news groups. So remember, to access all of our resources, go to www.slick.com forward slash ng and visit our guide where we have links to all of the software and services that we go through. This episode, Quick Start, is designed to get you up and running without having to read the entire guide. Just follow the simple instructions and you'll be downloading in no time. There's just one thing to remember. To use the news group successfully and to their fullest, you'll need a subscription to a premium news server. It's going to cost between $10 and $25 a month, but most agree it's well worth it. Now let's begin. In this episode, we're going to do three things. First, we're going to register an account so we can access a premium news server where all the information that we download is stored in encoded form. Then we're going to set up a news reader that connects to that server and downloads the information. Finally, we'll show you how to search, find, and download the information that you want. To kick things off, we'll need access to a premium news server. This is where all the information you want is stored. This is the only part of the news groups that you have to pay for. So if you're just starting off, you may want to begin with something inexpensive. But make sure you sign up with a quality service. Slick recommends several news servers that are all well known to provide excellent service. Once you're done signing up with a news server, you're going to be provided with three key pieces of information. Your account username, your password, and the news server address. This server information is then entered into a newsreader. If you're looking for high quality access to the news groups, check out Red Orb News at www.redorbnews.com for all these great features at low prices. Let's open alt bins and enter the news server account information. Click Setup, click Servers. Under Server Properties, you're going to give your server a name, enter the server address, enter the number of connections. Your server is going to likely require authentication, enter the username, enter your password. click Add as Primary, click OK, click Connect, and you should be good to go. To view your downloads, just click Downloads here on the toolbar. If you want to change your download folder, just click Setup, which will bring you to the Download Options window. Here you can change your download folder to wherever you'd like. Just click OK, and you should be all set. The last piece of the news group puzzle is the NZB indexing site. These sites provide NZB files which tell your newsreader what messages are needed to finish a download. These sites make downloading from the news groups very easy and Google-like. Once an NZB file is downloaded into your newsreader, the automatic process of grabbing information begins. Let's take a look at that process by dragging and dropping an NZB file into alt bins. This is an NZB file for Ubuntu. Once you drop it in, alt bins will do the rest and at these speeds, we'll be finished in no time. That concludes episode one. Remember, Slick has a complete and thorough guide to the news groups at www.slick.com forward slash ng. And if you have any questions, there's an active community willing to help. When you formed an opinion about your server, come back to slick.com and enter a comment and rating on its server page. We hope you enjoyed this episode. Look out for episode two coming soon.